If you like what I do here, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and click that like button. It really helps our channel grow. Let's get into the video. Hey guys, now before we get into the video, you know how this is done. Gotta rep the Indiegogo Hexcraft Mechanics Issue 1. Find out what happens when Chicago's supernatural community comes to blows over money, power, and vengeance. We've got two backers. We're looking for more. That could be you. If a supernatural sci-fi action urban fantasy comic book sounds good to you, you should back Hexcraft Mechanics. I urge you to click the link in the description, scroll through the art, check out the story, and back it today. Let's get into the video. I've been watching the bagging and boarding streams. Ethan did one today. As a matter of fact, it was just about 15, 30 minutes ago. He just uh, finished his stream. Nasser did, did Nasser actually did a few of them. And uh, I've been watching streams. I urge you, if you're actually doing projects in Comicscape, to watch these streams because they're very informative. You know, you know, as they're talking, you're watching what they do, how they're backing the comics, and how they're, or, or how they're bagging the, the comics, how they're sending them out. My issue is that I am thinking of doing my own fulfillment as well, you know, depending on the amount of books that are ordered. Right now, I, I'm i letting the printer do the fulfillment. And the issue with that is, I think, something that a lot of people are seeing if they're letting their printer do the fulfillment. And I should also mention this depends on the kind of printer that you use. But so the printer we're using our books fall into a sequence. So it's a bunch of books already being printed. And then, you know, they get to us, print our book, and then they set the book up to the books up to be shipped. Now, the thing about our printers, they have great quality. I love the quality of their books. This printer is a very busy printer. Like they're, they're always printing. So, you know, it can be a while before they get to your book unless you actually pay for uh, an upgrade. It could take a few weeks, maybe even a month to actually get to you. So I try to plan for that in my, uh, in my campaigns. And then it actually is the, you know, they're going to put your books together and then ship them out, which could also take some extra time. So I have another printer that I use as well, and they have a, a set time it's going to take to print your book but they don't do any fulfillment. They're also a high quality printer. In fact, it's the same printer that Nasser uses. So I'm questioning how I'm going to run fulfillment. So with this one, with this campaign, I'm probably just going to let the printer do it. But with the Victor Lock campaign, and yes, I have all my 2020 campaigns set up, at least the majority of them, I'm really thinking about doing my own fulfillment. And uh, that would allow me uh, to do some things, you know, sign the books, uh, do the the covers, the, you know, the art cover editions and things like that. So I'll have those books and I would be able to uh, sign them and do all that stuff and send them out myself. I like that idea. The only question is about the, the postage and handling. And the thing about that, obviously, is you got to buy all that stuff and then you gotta ship it out yourself. If you're letting the printer do it, they get discounts and things like that. They buy a whole, you know, they buy tons of that stuff. And they also usually have some kind of, you know, they get some kind of break with the post office or whoever they're shipping through. You also get to see what supplies Ethan and NASA are both using for their campaigns to sh uh, ship and try to make sure that these things don't get beat up in the post office. Ethan is using a uh, big bubble wrap envelope in the backing board for his original art tier. With Nasser, you don't really get to see how he's shipping them out, but you do get to see him backing and boarding them and uh, signing and things like that. Uh, this is kind of closer to what I have because I've already ordered a lot of, you know, I have the envelopes in the backing board. So uh, that's what I'll probably be doing if I ship them out myself. And you probably end up getting a poster instead of a print. And the, the difference is that the prints aren't folded. You can't fold the prints or you'll crack them in the middle. The prints are usually on heavier paper and they're usually uh, framed. They're like 
11 by 17 or almost uh, 11 by 17 size where the posters are about the size of a comic book. Like if you were to hold a comic book open, uh, it would be about that size. Now the Hexcraft Mechanics book, that's a perfect bound book. The Victor Locke book is is a comic book. It's, it's saddle stapled. So, uh, but both of those, I could actually ship both of those. The, the envelopes are actually big enough for that. So I enjoy watching those streams because aside from just listening to uh, what they're talking about, it's interesting to see how each person is uh, bagging and boarding and uh, shipping out their, you know, shipping out their project. I didn't know anything about the mailers that Zach used for Jawbreakers until he started talking about the problems that he had uh, sending his project out. So the beauty in that is you can learn from other people's mistakes and other people can learn from your mistakes. I'm going to be sending my stuff out in photo mailers, the nine by, they're like nine by 11 and a half or so. Uh, they're pretty big and they're rigid and I'll throw a backing board in there as well. I've had good success with that and others have sent things to me that way with no problem. So that's what I'm going to be doing. That's about it guys. I will be posting on my old vlogging channel on the Nathan Brandon Masters channel. Uh, I'll put a link to that in the description and uh, I'll be over there uh, every once in a while uh, promoting this campaign as well as just uh, doing some other stuff. Uh, that channel is actually still monetized. So uh, if you're seeing this, you might want to make that jump if you're not uh, from that channel already. You guys take it easy. Don't forget to check out Hexcraft Mechanics Issue 1 over on Indiegogo. And hasta. Don't look back, we're here to stay. A life we knew would come one day. And this is it, the borderline. Where the future leaves us behind The fire will burn